So now, now we have destroyed him on 1818, and now we go to Isaiah chapter 42. Okay, from the very beginning, you can read, it talks about a prophecy of a servant of God to come. Yes? In the land of the Kedar. In the land of Kedar and the people of Shela will rejoice. He's coming. Who is this servant of God? In the land of Kedar. By the way, do you know where the land of Kedar is? Where are they? Where is the land of Kedar? Isaiah 42. He changed it, changed it. Change Did it bring it up? No, it up. I started for you from the from the beginning, no problem. We're still dealing with the prophethood of Muhammad in the Bible, by the way. In the Bible. I'm not going away from the topic. Yes. I have no intention to. From the beginning, read from the beginning. Okay, here is my servant, whom I, whom I uphold, my chosen one, in whom I delight. I will put my spirit on him, and he will bring justice to the nations. He will not shrug or cry out or raise his voice in the street. A bruised reed he will not break, and a small ring wick he will not snuff out. In faithfulness he will bring forth justice. He will not falter or be discouraged till they establish justice on earth. In his teachings, the islands will put their hope. This is what the God Lord says, the creator of the heavens who stretches them out, who spreads out the earth with all the springs from it, who, will give, who gives breath to its people and life to those who walk on it. I, the Lord, have called you in righteousness. I will take hold of your hand. I will keep you and will make it to be a covenant of the people and light for the Gentiles to open eyes that are blind to free captives from the prison and to release from the dungeon those who sit in darkness I am the Lord, that is my name I will not yield my glory to another or praise my, idols, or my praise to idols see the former things have taken place and new things that I declare before they spring into being, I announce them to you. Sing to the Lord a new song. His praise from the ends of the earth. You who go down to the sea and, and all that is in it, you islands and all you, all you who live in them, let the wilderness and its towns raise their voices. Let the settlements of where Kedar lives rejoice. Let the people of Selah sing for joy. Let them shout from the mountain tops. Let them give glory to the Lord and proclaim His praise in the islands. The Lord will march out like a champion, like a warrior. Like a warrior, He will stir up His zeal. With a shout, He will raise the battle cry and will triumph over His enemies. Who is this servant? According to you. That's, so that's Mohammed basically. That is the prophecy I said about Muhammad. Yeah, so basically you're focusing now on the word Kedar as opposed to the people that was that living there. Tell me what is Kedar. Listen, Who was Kedar? You, are, you are focusing on the word Kedar and making connection between Kedar and Muhammad because in the desert, there's a people and that's, and that's Muhammad. No, no, no. Is that, is that your is that You know, that shows you don't know who the Kedar are. No, Let me no, educate no, no. you if you don't. The Christ is the desert. Who are the Kedar? Right. By the way, who was Kedar? Do you know? Well, Jewish. Jewish were there. No, no, who was Kedar? Yeah, I don't remember. Let me educate you because he is trying to say, before even understanding who Kedar is, he's already accused me that I'm making the connection because he lives in a desert. And this is the this is what happens when you are basically not understanding your own Bible. And what it means, a Muslim has to educate this guy what the Bible is talking about. Alright, so let me tell you who Kedar was. Kedar was one of the sons of Ishmael. Okay? He was one of the sons of not Isaac, of Ishmael. And that is how we link the genealogy of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to that of his wife. That's brilliant, brilliant. That means that he's a fourth prophet. I haven't finished. The covenant was with Jacob, I no with Ishmael. Finished. I haven't finished. No with Ishmael, Hold that's on. it. Brilliant. brilliant, thank you. Okay. That's it, one. Now, I want that. Now, now the question to you is, if, you, if you're, if you're, if you're, if you're, if you're, basically, if you say that Muhammad is a, is a prophet based on the fact that because of the leaders of the Ishmael, I just educated who Kedar was, then you're already jumping in. You didn't know what Kedar was. Because the covenant was made to Jacob and Isaac. Wait, choose. 
Now that I just told you who Kadar was, do you know where the dwelling of the Kadar is? Right, first of all, where is the dwelling of the Kadar? Do you know where the Kadar is? If you don't know, I'll tell you. Like, you, like I told you about Kadar. Sing to where the Lord a new song, his praise from the ends of the earth. You go, you go, you, you who go down to the sea and all that's in it, yeah. you, uh, you islands and all you live in them, let the desert and its sounds raise their voices. Let the settlement where Kidar lives rejoice. Where is that? Let the settlement okay. Where is the okay. settlement of the Kidar? Let the people of Sela sing for joy. Mm -hmm. Where is Sela? Sela is in Medina. Okay. <laughs> Let them shout from the mountain tops. Let them give glory to the Lord and proclaim his praise in the island. How is that about Mohammed? Where is Explain the, to me. Where is the settlement of the Kidar? How is about Mohammed? Explain that to me please right now. Something like a little kid. Where is the settlement of Kedar? We're not talking about the settlement of Kedar. This is the Bible. The settlement of Kedar. You should have the Holy Ghost to tell you where it is. The, 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 the debate right now you, is where Muhammad is prophesied in the Bible. You, know you appeal to Isaiah, right? So explain to me how you, Isaiah 42, 10, 12 refers to Muhammad. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Right now. But first you need to understand where the settlement of Kedar is. Do you know where it is? I don't have to. Do you know it? I don't have to. But do you know it? Okay, it's in Arabia, but I don't have to. Are you saying it's not from Muhammad? By the way, you don't know. How is that about Muhammad? I don't know how it's about Muhammad. It says the servant will basically come to this place, the settlement of Kedar. Alright? The settlement of Kedar. Wait, wait, show me, show me. The servant. The settlement where the Kedar lives. Where the servant? That's the settlement where Kedar lives. Rejoice. Do you know why they rejoice? So let the settlement, for he means let the servant. What servant? No, no, no. The servant is mentioned in the beginning. Show me. Yeah, the servant. What are you doing, bro? Listen, listen. You're not listening. You can't do that, bro. It is my servant who might be on the phone. He's my servant. It's in the beginning. He's my servant who might uphold me. My chosen one who might deny. Yeah. I remove my spirit of him. Yes. And he will bring just civilization. Yes. So that's Muhammad. That's the servant. Yeah. So that's Muhammad. By the way, you correctly said the settlement of Kedar is in Arabia. To be precise, that's Saudi Arabia. You tell me this servant from God came to Saudi Arabia in Christianity or Judaism. Answer. The question is, which servant came to the settlement of Kedar in Saudi Arabia from Israelites? Go on, tell me. Answer the question. I'm not gonna Are you going to answer? Question. No, you're not going to answer. Because 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 of the fact, I asked you one question at the beginning. Yes. You said a prophet like Moses is someone who's don't, great. We done with I told you, hold on a second. We done with hold on a second. Now we're done with Isaiah. A prophet like Moses like is someone who's able to see God face to face. And I asked you, was Muhammad able to see Allah face to face? You didn't answer that. I did answer. So, During this time I told you already. You went to the mirage and all that. Wait. What wait. do you mean where? When I, when, I did, when I already dealt with that, I'm coming to Isaiah now. I'm going to ask the question. Which servant of God came to Kedar, the settlement of Kedar? Which one? Other than Muhammad. So, so Muhammad was able to see Allah face to face. Uh, he made his now you're going back to someone you already know. No, no, because I want to go back to it. Are you going to answer this or no? I want to go back to it. No, 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 hold on a second. Are you going to answer this? No, hold on a second. You're running away now. You said that Muhammad flew to Jerusalem over the dog. Yeah, he didn't be right. I didn't say don't you, you said don't you. Alright. And then he was able to speak him. to Allah. Face Are you going to answer Isaiah 42 or not? No, no. Okay, okay. Who's who's because, because, because he will no, not no, answer. No, I will no, answer no, it for no, him. You have, you have Here is the answer. Plans. By the way, the settlement of the Kedar is actually Arabia. To be precise, Saudi Arabia. This is where the, the people who were the descendants of Ishmael settled. The Kedar, the people of Kedar, is very clear. There are lots of references to Kedar in the Bible. Yes? And this is clearly the Arabs from, from whom they basically trace their ancestry. Right? And the other one is the, the, the city of uh, Sela. What is that? Wait a minute. I, I want to get the, the exact reference here. Here it is. This is Isaiah 42, verse 11. Let the wilderness, in some, in some Bibles it says, let the desert, deserts and its towns raise their voices. Let the settlements where Kedar lives rejoice. You know why? You know why they Did rejoice? He said, does he yeah. say that his servant spoke Arabic? <laughs> now he's coming to another person. What, no. what are the people of Kedar speak? Be specific, bro. What do people of Kedar speak? That in that verse. No, no, what did they speak? Why? Okay. What language that's did Moses speak? What does it specify that his servant speaks Arabic? Maybe because he's gone. Well, let me finish. That this verse specifies that his servant speaks Arabic. The people of Kedar speak Arabic. Yes, servant, not the people. Why did they rejoice, bro? 
we talk, we talk about the people. We talk about the people. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. No, until you tell us about Muhammad. Listen, this is the Bible. Yeah. Yeah. He's saying that this man is seven. I don't have to show you anything. I don't have to show you anything. Of course you can't, because you can't. Okay, I don't have to. By the way, I don't have to. You have to show us. Listen, Muhammad is probably In the same verse, he says, let the people of Salah sing for joy. Do you know who the people of Salah are? Do you know what is Salah, by the way? You got Google there? Listen. You, you don't know that. It's listen. You got Google. Listen. Go to Google. Listen. Those people who have Google listen. and type in type in Sela S E L A. Prove to us that this type in Sela Mountain. Don't ask me to prove you. When you type in Google Sela Mountain, you'll yeah. find a mountain. Prove this service. You know where this mountain is? Can you prove yeah. that this, this mountain is, is actually 200 yards? Can you prove that this service is Mohammed? Yes. yes or no? I'm trying to. You keep quiet. No, because you're going in the tangent, brother. No, it's the same word. No, it's the same word. Still ask him what he do. That's the service. Say like speaks Arabic. Oh my Nothing God! Come on. What language did Adam speak? He mentioned them by name. By the way, where in the Bible does he say Jesus spoke no, Arabic? Arabic? Exactly. Oh, no, he knows more than you. He said he's telling me mentioned by name. Who? No, no, no. I said Salah. No, no. You are me, Salah? not anyone else. No, no, right no, no. now, I ask you a question. Do you know where is Salah? Do you know where was Salah? Do you know where is Salah? To be. It's Arabic now, now it's having to do with Arabic. Okay, so again he doesn't know the answer. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, Why not? Is that. This is your Bible, you should know it. No, 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 it's in Arabia. Okay, who came right. to Arabia? Mr. Servant. Which one? Tell me. That's like I just told you, Muhammad. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So, Muhammad, Muhammad. Look at the expression on his face. So that servant is Muhammad. Yes. Okay, where does it say that his servant spoke Arabic? Where does it say yes? Why are you saying oh. you have to be specific? What is it? Oh, be specific. Why do you have to be specific? The prophet, if the prophet doesn't say he spoke Arabic, be specific. Does any Jesus is not specific being there God, then? There was a Jewish settlement at the time. There. Is there any prophet of Jesus? There was, a, was, was, that, was there a Jewish settlement at the time in Kedah? Yes or no? Show me where it was. In Medina? Show me where it was. No. Show me where it was. No. Show me where it was the Jewish settlement. You are just talking. Was, were they Jewish settled in Kila? Yes or no? Not during the time of Isaiah. No, sorry. not during the time of Isaiah. Okay, anyway, by the way, if you go to. If you go to Hadouk! 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 In Kedah, we're, we're Arabs. You know something? Your Hadouken is like that bullet. He's, ba nah, he's basically implied that everyone says no, that in Kedah, we're Arabs. Okay, and I'm asking him. And I'm asking him. And I'm asking him. You're fired. And I'm asking him. You're fired. Were they Jewish? Set of the Kedah? First, they don't. Who is he referring to? I can point them out to you straight. And I'm not a cameraman. That's it. Okay, okay anyway. Shall we tell him where Selah is? Yes, but tell him. Selah, by the way. If you go go to Google and type in Selah Mountain, S E L A Mountain, and tell me what Google Maps shows you. You know what Google Maps comes up with? Yes, it comes up with, guess what? It comes up with a mountain which is next to the Prophet Muhammad's mosque in Medina. This is 200 years from Medina, this mountain, literally next to the Prophet's mosque. Isaiah 29, yes. 12. And it says here in this chapter, Isaiah 42, verse 11, it says the people of Salah, they will rejoice along with the people in the settlement of the Kedar. Right, and this is very clear in the in the Bible. I say I don't make any mention that this word is spoke Arabic. He doesn't have to. Use this one. Use this one. That's a red herring. That's a red herring. Use this one. It has to be clear. What do you say? Ikra. You're doing jumping jacks, bro. Nah, nah. You don't jump in jacks. You just jump. Ikra. He's trying his hardest, right? Twenty-nine, twenty-nine, twelve. To say that that is Muhammad. Twenty-nine, twelve. Read this. Who is that? Who is it? Twenty-nine, twelve. Angel came to Muhammad. When the angel first came when to demon, Muhammad, the demon, you mean. Angel Gabriel, if he's demon for you, that's a different thing. Yeah, bro. Angel Gabriel okay, came, came to Muhammad and he told him, Ikra, read. This is what I saw in a 29 12 says. And when they give the book to one who cannot read, say, Read. Read this. He says, I cannot, I cannot read. read. Because Muhammad oh, did not read and write. Again, in I saw 29 12. You know why? The context of that. The context of that, yeah. is what? maybe it was an Arabic. The context that's of that <laughs> is that it, that was for that was addressed to the stubborn Jews who they don't want it to. Is it not real? Yeah. No, they read Arabic. They read Arabic. They read Arabic. <laughs> but but did they say? They not read. Listen, bro. They read Arabic. He says, "Yeah, I cannot read. I cannot read." It's not. It's very different to I cannot read. Specifically, he right? says, "I cannot read." We were talking about Salah. Salah is a mountain in Medina. Listen. Now we got two examples in Isaiah 42. One is the settlement of Kedar, and second is the people of Salah will rejoice. 
When the people, when Muhammad came to Medina, when Muhammad came to Medina, the people of Medina rejoiced. The people of Medina rejoiced. Now he's completely out of state. You know why he's scared? Allow me, allow me to rebut that. Allow me to rebut that. Allow me to rebut that. Listen, you just, you just quote, you just quote the words, right? Saying that that prophet, that the prophet is going to keep. Read. Yes. That's supposed to be Muhammad. Yes. That console that was for the Jews. Did they not read? Stop. Did they not read? God says to them, You are stubborn Jay. bunch. This you don't want to follow the truth. I'm going to seal that book. Stop moving. I'm going to seal that book. Bro, you're, you're yeah. not let this in trouble now. No, we don't. I'm showing you two examples. Hadouken. Hadouken is like blank. Hadouken. He's falling blanks again. Nothing happens to me. Look at this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like a teenager, honestly. You know what? I don't even want to upload this one. It's bad for you, bro. Yeah, yeah, I know. I don't want to upload this. I don't, I don't it looks I don't bad for you. You know what? I, I showed him two examples. The settlement of Kedar the yeah, the and the people of Selah, they rejoice. Selah is a mountain in, in Medina next to the Prophet's mosque. And you have no evidence for that other than what? Which servant other than Muhammad came to Jewish Saudi Arabia and Medina? Which one? Go to Jewish Saudi Arabia. So that is that, listen, I say I was calling all the pro all the people to praise God, bro. Yeah? Really? Which servant was yeah? that? Which servant was that? Isaiah 42, 10 to 12. Where he says, sing to the Lord yes. a new song, yes. his praise from the ends of the earth. Yes. You okay. who go down to the sea and know that is in it, you islands, yeah, and all who live in them, let the desert and its towns raise their voices. Let the settlements oh. where Kidar right. lives rejoice. Exactly. Let the people of Sela sing. sing of joy. Let them shout from the mountain top. Let them give glory to the Lord and proclaim his praise in that the is islands. Muhammad I say, how is that Muhammad? I'll tell you how. It's clear, it's clear from the context. I say okay. I was calling all the people. All the people start uh, the prophecy. Not Isaiah, yeah. John. He doesn't but even know it's a prophecy. Nice. It's a that. prophecy about the future. The not about Isaiah's time. He's calling, he's calling all the people to praise God. He's not, he's not basically listen, people in Muhammad. Right. Okay, by the way. Do you think that is Jesus, by the way? Do you think that's Jesus? Okay, listen, look at Jesus. Of course you don't care, you're losing battle. Okay, so switch. Who is the topic though, bro? I told you, whenever this guy goes, who is the topic? And by the way, listen, listen. There is there is another there is another don't run away, don't run away. There's another another important point which you missed here is that sing to the Lord a new song. Do you know what the new song is? Yes? A new song is not a new religion. A new song is a new sharia. A new sharia. We have the sharia of Moses. We have the sharia of Jesus. Now it calls about the new sharia, the sharia of Muhammad. For the entire mankind, this new sharia is going to be something that is followed. Something that Jesus in his second coming will follow the Sharia of Muhammad. Yes, he will follow not his own Sharia, but the Sharia of Muhammad. So because he has no answer, this servant came to the dwelling of the Qadar and this servant was basically rejoiced for. Yes, no one rejoiced other than from Muhammad. Because you know when Muhammad migrated from Mecca to Medina, they rejoiced. <laughs> they rejoiced, they sang. This song is That's what they basically Muhammad. sang. That yes? is not about Muhammad. This is the rejoicing it talks about. So it's blank fighting. Hadoukens don't want to fight. Yes? They Stop are just like the blank fire. Right. Go fire. to the engine now. Okay. 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 You just now, to prove. now, now he has been completely right. and utterly destroyed. No, I have it. No, I have it. Let's go to the no, New Testament. No, Shall we? No, I have it. Yes, we have No, I have it. We still have it. No, I have it. All right. That's not Muhammad. That is not Muhammad. So which one is the Because wait, that's to say that this servant, right? Who came to say that this servant doesn't speak Arabic? He doesn't speak Arabic. Right? He's speaking in general with all the people. All the people should praise God. That's the content of that Isaiah, bro. You know, his argument is he, he doesn't say he spoke Arabic. Wow. Yeah. That is his argument. I know. So in the Bible, he doesn't say. Prophecy right. is from Isaiah 9, 9 chapter 6. Behold, a virgin will conceive and bear a son. A virgin will conceive and bear a son. That's a common prophecy. By the way, they are saying do the Injil next week. Not me. So don't say run away. Wrap it up, wrap it up. The batteries are running out. Okay? Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Yeah, we'll do some more. Some more wrapping up. Let me wrap this up. Okay. Brother Hashim has essentially tried to force Mohammed in. Deuteronomy 18, 18, 16, right? 
basically claiming that a prophet like Moses is Muhammad because Muhammad was great at, at seeing a great prophet like Moses. That was in Deuteronomy well, 18. You are not paying attention. 1816. 1816. 1816. No, no, no. About like Muhammad? Oh, no, no, no. That like Moses? That wasn't like Moses. That wasn't like Moses. Don't tell him. Was able to see God face to face. Was able to do signs and wonders. Wonders, miracles, and on, on those two miracles? criteria, Mohammed flows falls to the falls flat to the ground. Hey, One, because he was not able to do any miracles at all. He's digging himself deeper. And Mohammed oh, was not able to I see go, uh, Allah, Allah face to face. Okay, and you went to your almost Okay. By the way, and the land of Kida. Yes, where is the land of Kida? Uh, we that, serve that's Muhammad. We we're, serve not, we're not talking about whether so Kida is in Kida. Arabia or no. We're talking about whether Muhammad was prophesied in the Bible. It right? is. Right? That is a Bible. And that is not Jay. about Muhammad. That is a Bible. Jay. Jay. Do you believe in coincidence? Let me just ask you a simple question. Do you believe in coincidence? I believe, yes. Do, so you don't believe God rules everything? I believe, I believe that. Do you believe I'm here that for a reason. No, no, ask you a simple question. I'm, I'm here to speak about no, the truth. No, no, no. no. I'm going to ask you a straight question, yeah? Do you believe in coincidence? Listen, let's wrap this up. Wrap this up. Because I'm going to get to know it. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Do you believe in coincidence or do you believe that God knows? Um, Things happen for a reason, that's what I believe. So, what reason? God, God, God reason, yeah? For a reason. Okay, okay. For a reason. Explain to me if Song of Solomon 516. What is Muhammad's name doing there if it's happening for a reason? That's, is, that's hold on, hold on. ridiculous to no, no, even no, no, think no, no. that. No, 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 no. Basically, you go into the most sexual passage no. in the Bible and claim that's Muhammad. Oh, sexual passage in the Bible? That's the most sexual passage in the Bible. Why are you got pornography in the Bible for? Yeah. Yeah. Because Song of Solomon is a song, it's a loving song between a husband and a wife. Have you even read it? Right? I have read it. I have read it. And it's most sexual. What did you say? The word is called to. It's called It's complimented. It's why his husband's abdomen, that he's ripped and this and that. And at the end, oh, go to Jerusalem. That's your that is your beloved. That's Mohammed. Mental, come on, listen. bro. Okay, let's wrap it up. Oh, no, All right. You Any, mental, bro. Anyway, listen. Let's wrap it up. I think don't. Mental? Okay, you wrapped it up. Let me wrap it up now. Okay, we saw. Next, 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 next week. Anyway, next week he's gonna try to quote. Well, maybe he's gonna try to appeal to John, chapter uh, John, to prove that Mohammed is, is prophesied in the Gospel of John, obviously in the Bible, in the New Testament, right? And that, I'm gonna. I'm gonna what are you claiming that? for him? No problem. By the way, but if, it, it was, it was if, going, if you're going to keep firing empty Hadoukens, it's not going to work. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Gully <laughs> boom. Okay. He's like a teenager. Make sure you get the camera back. Honestly. Are you going to give me some uh, a space to say something? <laughs> okay, so basically I've quoted Deuteronomy 16 to 18 to, to basically show that Prophet Muhammad can only be that prophet who was prophesied in Deuteronomy. And also I quoted Isaiah 42 from the very, especially verse 11. Isaiah 42, 11, where it talks about the servant in uh, verse one, and then in 11, it talks about the people of the settlements of the Kedar. Kedar was one of the sons of Ishmael, and the uh, Arabs trace that uh, ancestry from Ishmael, obviously. So these people, and the people of uh, Selah who rejoice, and they rejoice from the mountain tops. I gave you example of Selah Mountain. If you go to Google, type in Selah Mountain, you'll come to a link, the very first link, which shows you that Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi mosque, the Prophet's mosque, next to which the Salah mountain is literally 200 yards from that. And this is what proves that the only servant who came to that area and the people of that area rejoices when he came to them can be only Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Okay? Now this is what they have to prove to us because he only prepared from answering Islam about Deuteronomy. He had no clue about Isaiah 42. So what he said, show me where he says Arabic. Seriously? So in the Bible he doesn't say Jesus will speak Aramaic, so he's not a prophet of God. That's, that's a kind of that's silly a, argument. That's a, that's a you wrapped up. You wrapped up. You wrapped up. You wrapped up. That's a weak prophecy. Though. Now this is, said, prophecy though. this is what I said. A Next week, inshallah, if he's still around, yes, we'll deal with Muhammad's prophecy in the New Testament, inshallah. Inshallah.